<laughs> All right, Mark, you've got the best recipe to entertain us with this morning. Yeah, that's it. It's Friday, the weekend's here, and it's all about entertaining. Hopefully, we've got some great weather at the weekend, and this will be a perfect recipe. It's a great lunchtime summer recipe. So what we're going to do, it's all about tomatoes, cheese, ricotta, fresh herbs, and crusty bread. That is it. It's really simple. But for the entertaining factor, we're going to design it and put it all on one platter so everyone can help themselves. So we're not spending ages, you know, doing individual ones and everything, and that's taking a time away from entertaining. And let's be honest, drinking. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to do this. It's really simple and it's perfect for summer. So I come back a little bit later and I'm going to show you this recipe. Now it's over to Holly. Great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen, one of my favourite spots because it involves food and it involves Mark. And today <laughs> we have got great finger food for a Friday. Well, that's it. It's all about sharing. So we're going to uh, present it on one plate. Nice. And people can just help themselves and just share. Good. Or you can turn it into like canapes or finger food if you want. So we'll show you that a little bit later. OK, what do we need to do? Let's get going. Right. So we're going to make our ricotta mix first. Ricotta. Right, so we've got some ricotta in there. Yes. So just nice and soft. And we're just going to flavour it. Yeah. What are we going to flavour it with? Cream cheese. Cream cheese! <laughs> Okay. It's, a, it's quite an Italian recipe, this, No, no, it? no. So I'm going to do everything in Italian. OK, yeah, that looks good. So I'm just going to mix that straight, and then we're going to give that a good season. OK, cool. <laughs> season! No, sorry. Oh, God. I'll stop it. <laughs> so we've got ricotta, we've got cream cheese recipe, by the way, at thecafe.co.nz. You can go back any time and have a look at all the other recipes we do. If you've just joined us for the first time, welcome. Thanks for watching. So it's just, it's just about keeping it simple. You know, you want your ricotta there. Your cream cheese just makes it nice and creamy, mm. but you've still got that beautiful sort of tanginess of the ricotta there. Okay. And then we've got some fresh herbs. Okay, so I've got cool. some mint. Yeah. So mint and ricotta, beautiful. Yeah. You know, even fresh. peas. What would be nice in there? Some frozen peas, okay. just blanched, refreshed in there. Beautiful. Nice. Mm. Okay, cool. So something I'm a bit huge different. Huge fan of the peas, but I'll give it a go because you said. <laughs> yeah. That's why. So just going to roughly chop some mint. Mm. And that's going to go through that. there. We've got some chives as well. Yep. You know, so that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. But you can add whatever you want into there. You know, we talked about peas. You can put some shallots in there. You know, any flavours you want, any, any herbs. And this is such a good recipe for summer because it, all these things grow in the garden. Well, apart from bread. OK, nice. And the cheese. And, and, yeah, and tomatoes. There's a lot of them around at the moment, aren't they? So yeah, exactly. It's a good way so, to use them up. So, yeah. I mean, I've got heaps in the garden at yeah. home. Um, so, yeah, brilliant way to use it up. Um, if you've got excess tomatoes, you know, turn it into, um, you know, tomato sauce, into a jam. Yeah. Anything you want. Nice. Right, and then we're going we're gonna to start cutting our tomatoes. So we've got a few different types of tomatoes here. So we've got some, like, little cherry tomatoes. Yeah. And we've got these vine-ripened tomatoes here. So... <laughs> Call vine ripened tomatoes because they're ripened on the vine. Oh, fancy. And uh, no, they're really good, really sweet, great flavour, you know, and they're still quite firm because they're still on the, uh, still on the vine. Still on the vine. Still on the vine. Yeah. So they last a little bit longer. Yep. Cool. That's it. So give that a little taste. So just make sure you've got your, um, you know, your salt and pepper balanced there. You've got all the herbs coming through. Mm -hmm. And then all we're going to do is just going to start chopping these. Mm. You know, so with this recipe, We've got different tomatoes. You know, you can you can get so many different types of tomatoes now. And if you guys are out near Clevedon, if you go to the markets there, there's these guys, Curious Croppers, and they grow, like, so many different types of tomatoes. They're actually bonkers about tomatoes. Nice. Yeah. Okay, uh, cool. Green ones, yellow ones, little horrors. You know, so many different types. So this will be a perfect recipe to do that, you know, get lots of different ones, and then you can really showcase nice. the different flavours and textures of the tomatoes. I think we need a bit more salt and pepper in here, just quietly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, chef. Yeah, isn't that good? Yeah. A little bit more, a bit more. Yeah, thank you. Oh, lovely. Cool. That's why we taste it, you know, get these things right. Well, that's it. You've got to, you've got to get it right. You're going to eat it. OK. Right, so all your tomatoes go in there. And then we're just going to do a light, a light little marinade for them. So Much better. A little bit of seasoning, so yep. some salt and pepper again. OK, if your tomatoes are really ripe and you, you, know, you grow them at home and you just pick them off, you probably won't need a bit of sugar. But if they're a little bit tart, it's quite nice just to put a touch of sugar over the top. And we've got a bit of white wine vinegar as well. OK, and what does so the white wine do? So it just sharpens it up as well. And then that little bit of sugar sort of balances it. Perfect. You know, it just sort of really lifts the flavour okay, of cool. the tomatoes. They're going to marinate there a little bit, and then we're going to build this in a minute. Fantastic. Well, we will come back in just a minute. We'll show you how to finish this off. Right, now, though, we are back in the kitchen. We're making a perfect Friday dish. This is looking great. It's tasting good. 
You like it? You like it, Chef? You happy? Yeah, I wouldn't cook if I didn't okay, like nice, it. Nice. Yeah, no. So, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to spread this out. Yep. So I'm going to give give this to you now. Okay, we'll spread so, it out like a big pancake. Yeah, yeah. So put it, arrange it so you're using the whole plate. Yeah. And then we're going to build the tomatoes on top. Okay. So we're going to put a little bit of olive oil. So I marinate the tomatoes first, and then just drizzle it with olive oil just before you um, pop it on top. How thick do you need this to be? Does it? Well, it's all, it's all about making it look nice now. OK. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I gave it to you. Oh, good. Leave it with me. I'll sort it out. Yeah, so, so I mean, it's all about entertaining. It's all about just creating... It's just got to look nice on one platter. And nice. then we're going to put the bread around the outside, and then all you can do, pop it down in the middle of the table, and just a perfect lunch, you know, light lunch for summer. Oh, fantastic. Right, so I've just got some crusty bread here. So we're just going to slice it nice uh, thick chunks. Yeah. And then I've got a griddle pan on here. You know, it'd be perfect with the barbecue as well because you get a really good flavour from that. Oh, nice. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do is grab a garlic clove. Yeah. Cut it in half. And then you're going to rub the bread with the garlic. Oh, that's and a good that, tip. Yeah, and then that just imparts a beautiful little garlicky flavour into that, you know, without being too strong. Yeah, no, fantastic. So okay. we'll just rub that over, and then we're going to season it with a little bit of salt and some olive oil, and then we're going to start toasting it. OK, awesome. So we haven't used all the tomatoes yet, have we? Because we still need to use some more. Or are we kind well, of no, no, we've got them all. We've got a mixture oh, got in there. Yeah, OK, cool. Yeah. Right, so the tomatoes are ready to go. So what we're going to do now is just arrange the tomatoes on top. So it's all about building it up now. OK. <laughs> and then, you know, the key thing to know when you build it up, it's obviously got to look nice at the end of it, but you can't just dump the tomatoes on. Right. Because you won't see the cheese. So you got to place them like that. Exactly. OK. Off you go. Oh, gosh. <laughs> OK. <laughs> <laughs> and do you, what, do you reckon up or down, or is it all part of your artistic design? Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, I've cut them different shapes. You know, different shapes, it just makes it look good. Right. OK, well, this could take a while if I'm going to do one, <laughs> one at a time, see. isn't it? <laughs> OK. Well, yeah, I mean, you can build it up. I mean, you, you know, you can have a pile of tomatoes on there. You don't want to be tight about it. OK, nice. You know, so just really fresh, summery flavours. And then, you know, we've got, lot, you know, a great selection of um, flavoured oils now. You know, we've got some, like, beautiful uh, extra virgin olive oil over the tomatoes. But then all these different flavoured oils works really well with this if you want to incorporate uh, or bring in another flavour. Yeah. So I've got some um, chilli oil as well, so we're just going to drizzle it with that. But, like, a basil oil or a citrus oil would be fantastic. You like your chilli, don't you? Oh, we love chilli, yeah. You carry on. That, I'm just going to check your bread. Cool. We'll just pop. I'll see, I'll see, I was get, we'll going for a, a nice more. artistic wheel look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's everyone's the, laughing. It yeah. was, you know, my artistic the, wheel. The audience are loving it at the yeah. moment. <laughs> oh, that looks good. So fresh. That's it. You know, that's what it's all about. You know, and it, it's just simplicity. And you know, just and great pretty quick. In all honesty, yeah, really yeah. quick, and you know, perfect for entertaining. OK, how brown do we want the spread? So it's coming along Toasted. nicely. I can smell... Oh, there you go, that's probably good enough, isn't it? I can, Actually, smell, yeah, there you go. I can smell that garlic infused in it. So there you go. That, if, you, if you miss that, you just rub the actual garlic on the bread before you toast it. A little drizzle of some olive oil. And then, all of a sudden, we've got everything ready to go. Nice and fast, using the produce that's available now. And a great way to share your skills on a Friday. Good work, Mark. And that's it. And if you grow the tomatoes yourself, it tastes oh, much better. Even better. <laughs> That lovely bruschetta. How's it looking, Mark? Uh, it's looking fantastic. So here is your sharing platter. You've got the bread on the outside, the tomatoes, the cheese. Everyone can dive in, help themselves. If you want a little dinner party with something a little bit posher, check these out. Do them individual and you can just pick it up. Perfect. You want to try it? Yes. No. <laughs> no, not really. Not today. No, oh, of course. Bring it over. Over here. Oh, no, and that. Samina's here perfect. as well. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, perfect. Oh, oh, look at that. Delicious. Yes, how gorgeous. So, Fresh. what are you cooking for us uh, on Monday? Well, over the weekend, I'm going to meet stock at the ASB Showgrounds, and I'm going to get my barbecue on. So, Monday, we're doing barbecued pork chops with summer vegetables. Brilliant. Mm.